Well, this is uh, very remarkable news, isn't it? The Associated Depress deportations down 20% fewer since 2007. And Obama's administration has been meeting with Latino leaders, meaning left-wing Latinos. Not necessarily Latino leaders. In other words, Latinos who agree with them. Like Luis Gutierrez, among others. Promising them, don't worry, don't worry. Let's get through the election, then I will violate the Constitution. So cool your heels. And these Latino leaders, like Luis Gutierrez, then they pretend they're furious. Because they want you to think, out there, that Obama is somehow backing off when all he's doing is waiting 60 days. And why is he doing that? To deceive you. Because he wants more Democrats elected. And he doesn't want you actually thinking about it when you go into the polling place and cast your ballot. He doesn't want, he doesn't want you angry, upset with him. Isn't it amazing? Three months ago, four months ago, the entire ruling class, yes, the Republicans too, they sought to impose this on us against our will, before the election. Then the Republicans slowly peeled off because they saw that the base was rising up and was going to punish them. Then Obama struts out and says, look, I've got to do what I've got to do because Congress won't act, and we all know the Constitution says if Congress doesn't act, I have complete and free reign. It's right there in the Constitution, right next to the abortion clause. Then he's got red state Democrats running for their lives, Back to the article. Homeland Security Department is on pace to remove the fewest number of immigrants since 2007, according to an analysis of its data by the Associated Press. Now, this is interesting. Are we removing immigrants? Seems to me you're not removing immigrants. That would be a legal immigrant. There's no reason to remove them. We call them illegal aliens. No, no. No, 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 no. Lots of moving parts. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE, the federal agency responsible for deportation, sent home... 258,000 immigrants between the start of the year, the budget year, October 1, and July 28 this summer, a decrease of 20% from the same period in 2013. Over 10 months, in 2012, ICE deported 344,000 people, 25% more than this year. So Obama is violating the law directly and indirectly, through the front door and the back door, or as he likes to say about growing the economy from the bottom up, the middle in, the inside out, the top down, whatever. Nobody knows what he means when he says that. We're going to grow the economy from the top. You're not growing anything except the deficit. So they're down uh, the deportations. Why is that? Because Obama doesn't want to deport illegal aliens. Again, despite all the demagoguery from the ethnic front groups, despite all the phony, fraudulent, so-called reporting by the phony, fraudulent media in this country, no country treats illegal immigrants the way we do. You're welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, just because you look 68 years old doesn't mean you don't belong in second grade. We're not allowed to ask how old you are. We're not allowed to ask you for your papers. We're not allowed to ask you for medical records. We're not allowed to ask anything. But you can take anything you want. What can we give you? In-state tuition? Yes. Free health care? Yes. Free public education? Yes. Well, you don't look to be hiding in the shadows. No. Country in decline. Not because we the people want to be in decline, but because the government is forcing us in decline. And by the way, demagogues not just on the left, but demagogues in the editorial pages of the Wall Street Journal as a perfect example. And Jeff Sessions, who is a courageous senator from Alabama, is exactly right. This is being pushed by big business, big labor, but also by millionaires and billionaires who believe this will be helpful to them. Because, of course, they don't have enough money. I'm not against free market capitalism. This is cronyism, pure and simple. You and I, through our property taxes, we pay for all this, whether it's public education, whether it's law enforcement, whether it's hospitals closing down, we pay for this. Not Zuckerberg, Bloomberg, Iceberg, none of them. We pay for it. The Obama administration decided as early as summer 2011 to focus its deportation efforts on criminal immigrants. Oh, really? Well, they're doing a great job of that, too. We don't know where those 6,000 are uh, that overstayed their visas. We do know there's 169 who've been convicted of murder or a related crime. A what? Hey, we made a mistake. Mistakes happen. There are a lot of moving parts here. What are you talking about? And as I've explained before, when they say, look, these people are going to go in front of courts, 
you know, that we're going to have these things adjudicated. Really, there's like less than 300 of these administrative judges. Many of them are left-wing hacks appointed by Eric Holder. You're free, you're free, you're free, enjoy seventh grade, you're free, you're free. Remember that clown in Arlington uh, County, Virginia? Three minutes here. Oh, really? Well, welcome. Enjoy ninth grade. See you in four years. That's what the guy's saying. And they want you to believe that we have this, you know, this tight justice due process administrative thing. If they're here illegally, they're going home. And we want to send a a message to Central America. Remember Obama? We want to send a message. If you come here illegally, we're sending you home. Of course, it depends where home is. It depends what the meaning of home is. If you have illegal alien parents here, that's your home. If you want your illegal alien parents here, that's your home. Yes. But pay attention to the NFL, you see, because this is the center of the universe, the NFL. Players you never heard of before. Players, oh, really? That guy is guilty of what? But what about this guy over here working with the, uh, you know, the big sisters, the big brothers? Don't worry about him. That's not news. What about here? These people helping this player, his four-year-old daughter. With, nah, 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 that's not news. That's right. It's not news. And what about all the abuses on Capitol Hill and everything else? And the politicians said, hang on. To, that's not news. That's not news either. 